Welcome to the assembly video for your Broil King gas grill. The following model numbers apply to this assembly. Please use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. Before starting, unpack all components of your barbecue and lay them out in your workspace. Use the drip pan to hold the contents of the hardware bag. You will need the following tools to assemble your Broil King barbecue. A hammer or rubber mallet, a number two Robertson or Phillips screwdriver, a 7 16 combination wrench, and a 7 16 socket and ratchet wrench. Step one, install the tank slide assembly using four screws. Ensure that the ends of the drawer slide do not overhang the back of the base. Install the door catch magnets on the base using the four smaller screws provided. Step two, assemble both side panels to the rear cabinet panel. Align the screws on the side panels with the openings on the rear panel. Using your screwdriver, tighten all four screws. To install the door catch bracket, use the pre-started screws to locate the bracket and install the two other screws to secure it. Install the magnets into the door catch bracket by snapping them in place. Step three, install the grease tray rails using four screws. Each cabinet side panel has three holes in two locations. Attach the side panel with a screw into the middle hole only. Step four. Install the tank retainer bracket on the left-hand side panel using the two bolts, washers, and locking nuts. Note the square stamped into the hex nut. This is locking hardware for the tank retainer bracket. Install in the top and bottom square holes that are closest to the front of the grill. Make certain that the retainer bracket is free to slide up and down. Now tighten the hardware with your screwdriver and your ratchet wrench. Step five, the cook box of your Broil King barbecue is already attached with valves, igniter, and subframe completed. Remove anything packed in the cook box and then lay the cook box on its back. Also lay the assembled cabinet on its back and attach the cook box using six bolts. Now tighten using your screwdriver. Step six, using four screws, assemble and install the cabinet shelf assembly. Now tighten using your screwdriver. Step seven, secure the base to the cabinet using the hardware shown. Two shorter bolts for the rear panel, four long bolts for each side panel, and two smaller screws for the cabinet shelf assembly. Step eight, now it's time to stand your grill upright.
Step 9. Install the door handles onto each door using the screws and washers provided. Step 10, install the doors on your grill. Insert the top pin into the opening on the cookbox, then the bottom pin into the base. Secure the doors using the retainer clips on the upper door posts. Step 11, Install the right hand shelf on your grill. Back off the pre-mounted screws and set the keyhole openings onto those screws. From the inside of the cook box, secure the shelf using the screws provided. Fasten the rear opening through the cook box first, then the front. Step 12, install the side burner in the same manner as the right hand shelf. Then install the cast iron trivet. Step 13, be sure to connect the side burner igniter wire and the side burner hose. To install the hose, run the hose through the plastic bezel on the left side panel and remove the horseshoe clip. Then insert the hose into the burner tube and replace the horseshoe clip. Now do the same with igniter wire and attach to the side burner electrode. Step 14. Double check that the grease shield is properly located in the cook box. There are four mounting pins to keep it in place under the burner assembly. Step 15, attach the lid to the cook box assembly using the roll pins and cotter pins. Note the location of the pin on the lid and the cook box. Now install the roll pin in the rear opening for both lid and cook box. Install the flavor waves cooking grids and warming rack. Note that the warming rack sits in grooves at the rear of the cook box to keep the warming rack in place. Step 16. Install the grease pan onto the grease tray and slide through the opening on the cabinet side panel. The grease tray will drop into place when centered on the grease rail assembly. Step 17. The match light assembly is an important safety feature on your grill. Attach it to the right hand side of the cook box using the screw provided. Step 18. For propane models, install the tank onto the tank slide and attach the regulator to the propane tank. Check the location of the tank retainer bracket to ensure the collar on your propane tank is secured by the bracket. Step 19. For models with a rotisserie burner, install the rotisserie bracket. Install the bracket with two bolts from the outside of the casting facing in. Use the supplied wing nuts on the inside of the casting to secure the bracket in place. Now slide the rotisserie motor onto the bracket. Now install the rotisserie kit. Place the forks on the spit rod and secure. Install the spit rod onto the barbecue with the open end going through the bracket and into the motor. 
place the collar on the spit rod with the set screws on the inside. Use your screwdriver to tighten the set screw. Install the threaded collar on the threaded end of the spit rod. Put the counterbalance weight on the spit rod and secure it with the handle. Now is a good time to look over your gas grill, ensuring that everything is secure and in place. From there, light your gas grill and leave it on medium-high for at least 20 minutes to burn off any of the residue from the manufacturing process. Then you're ready to grill. Now is a good time to register your gas grill. Please visit RoyalKingBBQ.com today and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more.